What's is, your problem with Sandlot? I just don't think it was as great as um, other coming of age movies. I thought there was a little bit of hokiness. You know, like the big dog. It's cute, but it's not like it didn't speak to me like other coming of age movies. Right. Like Only. Stand by Me. I have a Sandlot thesis that it came out in '93. And dudes like us were just a little too old for the Sandlot uh, movie. I bet like a 12-year-old would love that movie. It played right to people under 20 when it came out. Yeah, see. Right. I mean, isn't that a kid's movie? I've always been under the impression that Sandlot was for kids. No, it's about kids. Yeah, but isn't it for kids? Well, how many movies have you watched that has to do with kids? Stand By Me is about kids. Yeah, but that's not for kids. But still kids. Yeah, it's, it's kids acting in it, but that movie wasn't made for kids to go see. No. You know, like Aladdin was or something. Come on. <laughs> I mean, that's what Sandlot is. It's just like a real people version of a kid's movie, isn't it? Sandlot's about real life. Adults love I love Sandlot. Yeah, you can. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. All right. But it's for kids. All right, I'm a kid. Yeah, I'm McLovin. You are far from alone, just so you know. I'll put up the poll right now. Did you like... Uh, the movie Sandlot, a lot of people are really into that movie. Yeah. I have a lot of friends who love it. I had not heard any negative reaction to the movie Sandlot. Is it because oh, yeah. it got too much publicity? Like, what am I missing out on? They didn't like James Earl Jones? What? I'm not sure. There's just a certain element of it is a little too... I don't know. Aren't there better, like, young baseball movies? I'm not sure, like... Um... Well, what's better that portrays kid bad news bears bad news bears was fantastic yeah bad news bears is great but i wonder if adults like bad news bears when it came out or it played more to like 12 oh that was an adult movie walter matthau was i think that was not a kid's movie the original yeah see, see that's what I, th I think we keep confusing adult movies that are about childhood with movies for kids i thought sandlot was for both i thought it was parents looking at kids and and then it was kids who could identify with the kids or be curious what it was like in a different generation there. No, you're right. It's, there are a lot of adults. I know a lot of adults who really like it, but, yeah. You're the one that said, that, you know, that there was going to be people that, that this would be polarizing. I haven't heard anything that makes this polarizing. Yes, Paul. What, some, there's some movies that people get really territorial about. Do you remember the movie, um, oh, uh, what's that football movie with Denzel Washington? Remember, Remember the Titans. Titans. Uh, Kirk, I once said to Kirk Herbstreit, I'm like, yeah, it was okay. He goes, what? what, what? I thought Herbstreit was going to drop me. He loved Remember the Titans. I thought Remember the Titans was a little hokey. Yeah, it was all right. Great story, great true story, but I thought the movie itself was a little hokey, but people love that movie. Yeah. What other sports movies are, you know, people I know make fun of Rudy, but. No, that one is. A, I mean, come on. Rudy's not polarizing. You know. There are some people who love the Mighty Ducks series of a certain, and it's all of a certain age. I have I'm not, you, I have, I have not run into even Emilio Estevez. If I ran into him, he would probably not say that. If he you were him. the right age to catch that, you were probably into the Mighty Ducks. They made, they made several of those. Did you like? Did you like the Mighty Ducks? I liked the Mighty Ducks logo, and that was the extent okay. of it. All right. Yeah, I, I've never heard anybody talk about the Mighty Ducks. Like, hey, when you think of all the great sports movies, you know, and then they throw in the Mighty Ducks. Any other polarizing sports movies? Well, the, you know, this the Rudy fiction versus nonfiction thing is a big one. I'm looking at a, a coming-of-age baseball movies. Did anyone like Rookie of the Year? That's one of them. Angels in the Outfield. A lot of these are not great movies. The Rookie. No. Uh, Stealing Home. Did anyone ever see that with Jodie Foster? And I love that movie. Yeah, see. That was a great movie. Were they, a great uh, movie? Al, absolutely. That was a great movie. Yeah, we tended to... Uh, be, okay, maybe I haven't seen this since 1984. Okay. But... Great movie? It, that's the one, Andrew, where they have the horses diving off the high dive. Yeah, Alan Appleby, you, uh, you Stole My Prom Date. Yeah. It's got uh, Mark Harmon, Jodie Foster. Did you say Jonathan. horses diving off the high dive? Is yeah, it was said? a thing yeah. in Atlantic City. It used oh. to be a thing. Uh, back in the day, they would make a horse go up really high and dive into a tiny pool. <laughs> Uh, and that seems mean. Now uh, I want to see it. It's incredibly cruel. Uh, it was an awful thing that they Jeez. did. Uh, and like, that who was says? one of the things that Jodie Foster's character was like, I just think it's really mean that they do that. But who says, ah, we need some entertainment. How about we put a horse on a high dive? <laughs> Correct. Like, 
Who, that, who approved that? Well, I, I want to know at what point in the night and how much had you been drinking where you're going, you know, I'm thinking maybe a horse on a diving board. Ah, that's great. Let's try it. Here's another one. Freddie Prince and Summer Catch. I think Jessica Biel was the girlfriend. Oh, dear. You know what? That could have been. It's a great yes. premise for a movie. They just, it was awful. What's the premise? Uh, the He's in the Cape Cod League, and mm-hmm. he's a, a pitcher up there. And? Uh, and, well, so... Cape Cod League is awesome. That's it's great baseball, and the kids they're all like sort of college age, yeah. And they live with families, and they sort of uh, get themselves into the community. This just happened to be, uh, I don't know, it's just it was just done really cheesily, cheesily. Yeah. Mm. Yes, Paul. There are bad sports movies that I know are bad, but I still watch. There's one called The Slugger's Wife. Michael O'Keefe from Caddyshack. Rebecca De Mornay. Wow. It's, it's terrible, yeah, but, but I I like it. That was uh, shot in Atlanta, and I remember being in Atlanta at the time, and I think Nick Charles from CNN Sports has a cameo there. So I think I just got to CNN, and uh, I think Nick Charles went out to the ballpark, Fulton County Stadium. Now, Rebecca De Mornay had she already done Risky Business? Yes. It's peak Rebecca. Yeah. Well, Risky Business was peak yes. Rebecca. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah. Beyond peak. I mean, that's like Everest. Yeah. If you like women. Mitch in Ohio joins us. Hi, Mitch. What do you have for me today? Hey, how you doing, Dan? Good, Mitch. 5'11", five, five 160. Hey, I was just calling about the Sandlot, and uh, I was born in 92, and my, that movie growing up, that was just a perfect movie. I just wanted to be like those kids out in the neighborhood and everything. I just wanted to call in. I thought, you guys were mentioning you guys were a little bit too old and said 1993, and I thought, well, I was born 92, and that was just perfect for me. Yeah, thank you, Mitch. I like the movie. I, 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 I just, although if I'm doing the math, Mitch saw it when he was one. He really loved it at one. Yes, he. I just watched Sandlot for the first time uh, like three weeks ago. With your son? Yeah, yeah, it was good. Did he like it? it? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's no Kung Fu Panda, but no, it's yeah. not. I always thought that Sandlot made a would make a better book. That that it almost like you you could create it in your in your mind of these scenarios there and the dog there behind the fence and the you know the grumpy old man and you know. Well, I read the book. Oh, you did. <laughs> it's my favorite. Now, book. did this remind you of of your <laughs> youth at all? Did you guys play Sand, Sandlot baseball? Yeah, I played Sandlot baseball, but. You know, we weren't hitting it over a fence and there was a dog over there. Right, but maybe, yeah, we didn't really have pickup baseball like that. But that seems really fun to get together with your buddies and play You don't baseball. see pickup baseball that much anymore. When you go by a, a ball field, I, I always look for this. When I go by a basketball court or I go by a baseball field and I just want to see if kids are out there playing. And you just don't see it as much as you once did. Yes, Eden. We used to play sort of in schoolyards, but it was on cement. It was on, like, blacktop. Yeah. And we played, uh, we called it, for some reason, we called it steaming in. And, you know, you would have the box on the wall, and that was the strike zone. And then you usually oh, yeah. played with, like, I don't know, a bat and a tennis ball. We called that something. box ball. Yeah, we called it steaming in. Yeah. I don't know why, though. Yeah, but you would you would uh, have an outline of the yeah. strike zone. Yeah, and it would hit off the wall and be like, it's a strike. Nope, didn't hit. That didn't hit. That didn't hit in the box. <laughs> Everything. All right, that's a strike. Nope. No, it bounced outside the box. Nathan in North Carolina joins us. Hi, Nate. What do you have for me? Hey, Nathan. Hey, yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. So I saw this movie in the theater when I was 10 years old with my father. My father grew up in Southern California in the 50s and 60s. So I loved it because I was a kid. My dad loved it because it reminded him of his childhood. We got done with the movie. He looked at me and said, man, that was... That was my childhood. Now, like you guys are saying, not hitting the ball over the fence and the big dog and all that kind of stuff. But, man, he loved it. And so I don't know, maybe, if Dan, that's why you love it. And these younger fools that are with you aren't so crazy about it. But, man, it's, it's the greatest baseball movie ever, at least from my childhood. I watch it now with my uh, kids. They love it as well because they're kids. And it reminds me of, hey, going to the movie theater with my dad when I was younger and, and getting to hear a little bit about his childhood. So that's, I think, why right. maybe my generation, I'm 37 years old. That's why we love it. Thank you, Nathan. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I enjoy, I enjoy the movie. How about the pool scene where he fakes like he's drowning? Squints? Yeah, come on. <laughs> How good is that? 
Yeah, it's a good movie. What an yes. assassin that kid was. Although somebody said that's Heather Graham as the lifeguard. I don't think that's Heather Graham. It as is the... not. It's someone I'm looking. There's a lot of people that uh, make that mistake. It looked a lot like her, but it was not Heather Graham. And I and I know Heather Graham. I've seen Fritzy's computer the last five minutes. He's done some deep research on this topic. I, I was... You can definitely confirm not Heather Graham. By the way, you want the early poll results? Did you like Sandlot? 88% say yes. Good. I'm going to have to revisit it. I'm going to rethink it. Check yeah. it out. Okay. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.